Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. It stars Donald Pleasance, Paul Rudd, and it's a story about Michael Myers coming back to Haddonfield to kill a baby. Because apparently, Jamie Lloyd from the last movie, who grown up into a teenager, has had a baby with Michael. Michael is her uncle. He had sex with his nephew. Uncle, nephew. You get it? Um, it, it strangely fascinates me on how the filmmakers were able to get away with such such a fucked up thing to start a movie. Um, but yeah, that happens. So Jamie Lloyd escaped the mental hospital with the baby in order to get to safety. But Michael gets to her first and actually kills his target. But the baby is nowhere to be found. It, she apparently was able to hide it somewhere in the bathroom. Paul Rudd, who played the little boy from the first movie, Tommy. And he's grown up into a man, and he's kind of a weird guy in the neighborhood. And he is very sure that Michael will return because of past events. And so he's always in the watch because somebody's living in the Myers house. And there's this coat of thorn and everything trying to get him, and the baby and stuff. This is a very convoluted movie. Probably the most convoluted in the Halloween franchise. But at least it is much better than five. I really, really do not like five. This is by no means the perfect film, and it does have a lot of flaws. But I wouldn't say it is terrible in any way. It's kind of a middle ground in the Halloween franchise. What really bothers me the most in the movie is the a convoluted story. There's so many stuff going on with the fam with a family, with the baby, with Paul Rudd and Michael Myers, that they do not all come together very well. Sure, some plot points do have a co coherent ending, but some are just left in the rug. And even the ones that do have an ending are kind of disappointing. So some of the storylines I felt like could have been cut out because some there's a few stuff in here that doesn't feel necessary to be in this movie but to be honest this is probably the strangest because it introduces finally the cold thorn as we saw in the fifth movie the thorn in michael the wrist like we are do not know what it means actually the writer in the last movie doesn't know what it means so they want to explain the next movie so they can finally figure it out what they're trying to fucking do. But yeah, it's apparently a thorn that comes out every Halloween night and causing Michael Myers to kill everybody. I hate that part of this movie. Why can't Michael just be Michael? Like just an insane killer who's unstoppable going out killing teens. Why does he need an explanation to for the things he does? He, and like in the first movie, what makes him creepy that Michael could be anybody. He's just a guy in a mask. That what makes it creepy. That what makes the first movie really creepy because you do not know who, what, well, you know who Michael is, but when he grows up, he could be, he could just be anybody. Like, anybody could be the shape, even in real life, even though, take away the unkillable part. It, there's still a guy in a mask going out killing people, which what makes the first movie and some of the other movies, well, the good ones, scary. But here, they have to explain everything. And that is one of the most jarring things in the movie that I really hate.
they explain a lot of things and it leads to a lot of dialogue sequences that I felt like should not be in the movie. But as I said, this is not a bad film. The atmosphere and cinematography is really good. It feels like a Halloween film. You feel like you're in the Halloween season. There's a lot of fall leaves everywhere. Kids are going out trick-or-treating. There's even a Halloween event scene I thought was really creepy with the corpse stuck on a tree falling down. It really sets the mood. And Donald Pleasant and Paul Rudd are actually pretty good in the movie. This is apparently Donald Pleasant's last film just before he died. And rest in peace, man. You were great in the Halloween films. I love Donald Pleasant in this film. Paul Rudd as Tommy is alright. Sometimes he can be a bit too creepy. Like in the scene where he's looking out in the window and there's this girl taking a shower. Um, he, it kind of went overboard, but I do understand his character. And he is likable enough for me to get behind. Because I understand where he's coming from. And so is the uh, lead girl who is living in the Myers house. And the little boy. I thought they were good too. So good performances. And of course Michael. The mask gotten much better. I mean. It just looked so much better. Much more creepier. Much more real. And than the last few ones. So this is one of my favorite Michael Myers masks. And probably the best I've seen of Michael. Because there's a lot of cool stuff. And horror stuff with him. And there's a lot of cool kills. And. It does have, the movie does have a good pace to it. Sometimes because the dialogue scenes, it could go down, but it will pick itself right back up with some of the exciting scenes. And the hospital, all the hospital scenes at the end of the movie, I think is the best part. I think the final act of the film will really made the movie pick up. So, this is not bad. There's a lot of problems. I mean, some that really pissed me off, but, you know, I could see myself watching it again in the Halloween movie marathon if I want to watch all the good ones, um, but I wouldn't, like, recommend it to Die Hard fan because I think they're going to outright hate this film, but I would recommend it to, for people who just want to watch a fun Halloween film. And I think this is a perfect one. But it is still not the best in the franchise. But it is still not the worst. I'm going to give Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, a C+. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Look forward to my review for Chucky. Child's Play, the first movie, and I have a lot to talk about this film in my history with the Chucky franchise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys next time. The flame, I talk to you. I'm a slave to your games.